Today, the FAA reports an uptick in COVID cases could impact flights as well. And we're still days away from what is expected to be the busiest travel days of the holiday season. Let's get out to D Tiffany Liu at DFW International Airport. Tiffany, things are looking a bit calm behind you, but I know it hasn't been that way all day. Yeah, it's been coming in waves, coming and going. Some people, it just depends, depends on when the flights are coming in. Right now, it looks like a flight just landed. People are coming out, waiting for their bags. Now, we all know what airports look like on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, that's not the case right now. The TSA is still expecting it to be an extremely busy holiday travel weekend. It's the post-holiday travel that's going to be happening. And a lot of people are bracing for possible delays and cancellations. As if the pandemic plus holidays haven't impacted travel enough. Let's add weather to the mix. My flight thankfully left early in the morning because the snow was about to hit in Albuquerque. Kadena Adkins is at DFW International Airport for her layover back to Nashville. And though it's her favorite airport. I choose to go through Dallas. I will pay more to go through Dallas than to go through Atlanta, Georgia or LAX. She knows potential weather delays are inevitable. I was watching the weather very, very closely because of that, because the weather, they say it's it's a nasty storm moving. Stephen Horner heading to Greenville, South Carolina, is also prepared for whatever will come his way. Right when I'm flying out, I think the line is supposed to hit. So it was real shaky leaving Greenville coming out here. So I'm expecting another shaky plane ride. TSA officers screened more than two million people on Thursday. According to AAA, travel is back to pre-pandemic numbers. Airlines saw a 177% increase in holiday travel over last year in Texas alone. But many reasons have forced cancellations and delays. But it's very difficult when you're trying to plan around weather, a pandemic, and all sorts of other crazy incidents. Daniel Armbruster with AAA Texas says flyers should check in 24 hours ahead of time and get frequent updates on the status of your flight. If you are significantly delayed or canceled, he says you have a right to a refund under federal law. As employees and passengers recover from a hectic holiday month, it's not over yet. At DFW International Airport, I'm Tiffany Liu.